Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and I just received in my 4K copy of Dario Argento's Deep Red and I'm super excited guys. I'm going to I'm going to unbox this for you real quick at the table. Then I'm going to watch it. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to give my thoughts on uh, the movie and the transfer and all that good stuff. So, yeah, super excited to have this Deep Red is uh, probably maybe my second favorite Dario Argento movie. I really love this one. So yeah, super excited to get into it. Let's go on boxes. Let's see what it's got uh, in here as far as the packaging. I'm sure there's some cool posters and booklets and cards and all that great stuff. Let's go do it, guys. This is Deep Red from Arrow Video. And yeah, I just want to thank MVD um, entertainment for sending this to me and yeah we're gonna unbox this we're gonna watch it we're gonna talk about it but before I get into it guys if you are just now discovering me because you looked up deep red 4k reviews and unboxings and you found my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure to like this video guys and also comment down below what are your thoughts on deep red is it one of your favorite Argento films are you planning on picking up this release? I will be leaving the link for purchase in the description if you decide to pick it up uh, based on my recommendation today. So just removing the plastic, removing some of these stickers. I, I've made the mistake of ripping the J card before on these because uh, I didn't take the stickers off all the way. And I'm not going to make that same mistake again. So, all right. Got the stickers taken off. Going to look at the J card real quick. The J card has a lot of the special features. We have the synopsis right here on the top. We have the 4K Ultra HD, all the contents right there, guys. This does include the 127-minute Italian version and also the 105-minute export version uh, from the original negative by Aerofilm. So these are 4K restorations of both of those different uh, versions of the film. So disc one is the original version, and disc two will be the export version. So I don't think that this is going to include a Blu-ray copy. So right away, guys... Just a nice, they've been doing such a great job with these box set Dario Argento releases this year. Um, it's really been amazing. Bird with the Crystal Plumage, Cat on Nine Tails, now Deep Red. Just the work that they've done um, with both restoring and just packaging these classic Argento films um, has really been amazing. So Deep Red, a film that came out in 1975. We take this out of the packaging, I'll kind of look into here but yeah i love the love the artwork on the back right there love the artwork on the back right there and yeah we'll look at the back of this same thing as with the back of the j card you just have all the all the uh special features and the contents and all that stuff the features and then you get the specs down here at the bottom and we'll kind of show you all the top right there again all right and the cover the cover's amazing love the cover I guess we can do this poster real quick, kind of get into the poster. We're gonna, it looks like we're gonna see both the Italian, the original Italian version and this new Arrow video version, which I love this cover right here. This is amazing. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll try to show you all the full poster maybe a little bit later when I'm doing the review, if I think of it, because this is not a good way to, to show off this poster. Let me show you the booklet right here. Really cool little booklet. Let's see if we can find that little creepy, uh, little creepy doll riding the tricycle. Not riding the tricycle. That's uh, that's jigsaw. <laughs> this thing just straight runs into the room, uh, <laughs> and it's it's incredible. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, this is a really great movie. This is a great film. Flipping through. All right, really cool little booklet. Just all the nice touches from Arrow Video. Open this up right here, guys. We got some cool disc art right there for the original version. And then we got some different artwork right there for the export version. And then we got some, some cards in here as well. Of course, we always get our cards, our little, our little um, postcards right there. So we got some cool images on there. Awesome stuff, guys. Ooh, I like that. 
Uh, let's see. Bam, bam. Yeah, this film is probably... There's a lot of reds in this film. There's a lot of colors. This film is probably going to look amazing in 4K. I can't wait to dig into it. Let me show you all this reversible cover art real quick. I almost went to go watch the movie without doing the reversible cover art. What am I thinking? Yeah, this is all... Um, this is the exact same reversible cover art as the Blu-ray, I believe. Um, but the... Um, the arrow artwork is different from the uh, from the Blu-ray arrow artwork, so that is a change. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and get to watching this thing, and then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to talk about it. So let's do it. Oh yeah, I am so ready for another Argento film in 4K. Cannot wait to watch this one, guys. Looks amazing already. All right, guys. So uh, so wow, yeah, <laughs> deep red uh, arrow videos, deep red on 4K. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this movie. We're gonna talk about this experience because that was a I had a hell of a time uh, watching this film. And right out of the gate, guys, Dario Argento, uh, you know, directed this film. He co-wrote this film as well. Uh, the movie starring David Hemmings and Daria Nicolodi. Um, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but uh, yeah, this is an actress that frequently collaborated. Uh, with Dario Argento in the 70s and 80s, and was also, um, I think, married to him for a 10-year span as well. So she recently passed uh, last year, so definitely rest in peace, Daria uh, Nicolodi. But yeah, starring both of those two, it's got the music from Goblin back again. God, I love every single time Goblin collaborates with Dario Argento. It's absolute magic. They always put out great scores. Um, I love Ten Embrace score. I love Suspiria. Suspiria is like one of my all-time favorite horror scores. At yeah, Deep Red, I can I can say I can definitively say right now, guys. As of today, as of right now, I'm pretty sure Deep Red is my favorite Argento film. Um, I love this film. It combines like everything that Dario Argento is like known for, um, both in the like murder mystery thriller genre and then in the horror genre. Uh, that he would later go on to do with like Suspiria and Inferno, which I would say are more horror-based uh, films, phenomenon as well. And, you know, Burb of the Crystal Plumage and Cat on Nine Tails is kind of more like murder mystery thriller. This movie kind of takes all of those elements, which makes sense, it's right in the middle, and just combines them all together to create this murder mystery horror, just the perfect blend of all of these different things. And just, in my opinion the purest giallo that I've ever seen. I've heard a lot of people talk about this movie as well. Everybody says it's kind of like the benchmark when it comes uh, to, G to giallo film. So I would say that this is definitely the pinnacle of Argento's run, at least in the 70s, and I think it's his best movie. Is Suspiria his most flashy movie? Is it the one that everybody latches onto, the one that everybody talks about? Yes, I would argue that Deep Red is his best movie. Um, and I've seen quite a few Argento films. I think I've seen seven or eight uh, at this time. So I don't consider myself a leading authority on Argento films, but I do feel like I, I somewhat know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about this movie. So there's still one big one I need to get to, Inferno. But yeah, guys, with this movie, um, you know, basically, you know, it's a mystery horror thriller. It's involving a musician, uh, which is a little far-fetched, but it's involving a musician and a reporter trying to catch a killer um, who has murdered a well-known psychic. So right in the beginning of this film, there's a murder up in an apartment complex. This guy's down in the streets. He witnesses it. He goes up there, and then he's trying to, to help solve uh, uh, the murder, you know, working with uh, the psychic's partners and then working with this random kind of reporter that kind of goes in there. It has that all those, like, giallo, like, hall uh, hallmarks and trademarks um, uh, of, like, previous giallo films. So that's basically what a giallo is. It's more of, like, a detective-type story. Uh, with some murder horror elements kind of infused um, throughout. So yeah, I would say that this is definitely just the best combination of everything that Argento was known for. As far as like comparing this to The Bird with the Crystal Plumage and Cat on Nine Tails, which kind of like recent watches for me from Argento, um, I think he just ups the ante in this one in every possible way. Like the scares and suspense are just much more intense in this one than he had ever been before this time. The kills are much more elaborate. They're well orchestrated. Uh, they're memorable. Like I can't, I liked Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I can't really remember any kill in that film, but I remember uh, three of the big kills from this one. Actually, four of the big kills from this one, if you count what happens at the very end. Like these kills are very memorable. Um, you know, one in particular, like kind of, I feel like Halloween two might've, 
uh, ripped it off a little bit because there is one where uh, he's submerging the, the girl's head in a burning bathtub and kind of burning in her face. Um, and the way that it's done is kind of very similar to uh, what Rick Rosenthal did in, in Halloween 2. So I feel like they might have saw Deep Red before they made Halloween 2 and, and did that scene based off of that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Could it just be a coincidence? But the beginning kill is awesome. Just her opening the door and the freaking cleaver flying. I think it's a cleaver flying on her shoulder and just it's that classic giallo style. It's just like so over the top. The blood's just like almost like paint. It doesn't even look real, but it's just fantastic. Um, but yeah, there's there's some legitimately like creepy moments, some very suspenseful moments. I'm thinking of the woman that's kind of alone out in her house in the countryside. Um, they, they're getting ready to come find her, but it's too late. She sees the dolls kind of hanging up in her house. She knows somebody's in there, which she runs out of the house and it's like, why don't you just go find the help? But then she goes back in. It doesn't make any sense, but it's, you know, whatever. Um, you know, and she's walking around the house, you know, somebody's in there. There's several scenes like that. Uh, the one where he's playing the piano in his, in his apartment and he knows somebody's in there and he's playing it, trying to, uh, throw him off. And then he closed the door and you hear the voice. That's a really creepy scene too. But going back to the house in the countryside, you know, she's she's walking, you know, through her house, and then all of a sudden you see him pop up behind her, and it's just a very creepy moment. Then there's the moment that uh, where the guy's investigating the one house, and then the doll flies through the door like the little robotic animatronic doll, and he's like he slaps him in the face with the cleaver, and then he sneaks up behind him. That's an awesome moment. I freaking I marked out when I saw that because I remember watching it um, back in 2019 because I first watched this movie. Uh, Back in, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but I, I didn't mention it before. I'd, I've seen this movie before. It's definitely been up there in my Argento list, but I watched uh, the Arrow video version that they put out in 2018, which I'm going to do some comparative images of a little bit later because I put both of them in. Um, but yeah, I watched this back in 2019 for the first time. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, this one in Tenebrae, I think I watched pretty closely together, and I, I thought both of those movies are better than uh, Suspiria, even though I still love Suspiria for what it is. It's just, it's not the best film, I guess what I'm trying to say. The Deep Red Tenebrae are just much more solidly constructed, um, better stories and, and, and stuff like that. But Deep Red watched a couple of years ago, loved it. But I always remember that scene where the doll flies through that. It's a very cool, um, very memorable image. Like that's what I'm saying about this one. Cause I, I don't feel like Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I liked that movie. I thought it was really good, but it didn't have that, that, that scene in it that I just, I remember. I feel like all of Dario Argento's films have those certain sequences and scenes that you remember. Even Cat on Nine Tails had one, but Berber the Crystal Plumage um, didn't really have one. So I feel like this one had a bunch of them, and it's just, yeah, it's a great movie. The story's engaging. The characters are interesting and fun to watch. I really like uh, David Hemmings in, the, in this role. You know, he's kind of the more prim and pro proper, like, musician type. A uh, little bit of flamboyancy there. I love the chemistry between David Hemmings and, and Dario Nicolodi. Um, you know, like, they're doing arm wrestling. They're talking about feminism and stuff like that, and how he's saying, like, girls are just weaker than men. And she's like, well, all right, let's arm wrestle. And they have a little arm wrestling match. It's a nice little exchange that both of them have. Um, it's a cool moment. They've got, they've got great chemistry together. I love Daria in this film. She's she is a fantastic kind of sidekick. Also, well-directed movie. Some very interesting shots. Um, the shot where they're walking towards the bookcase with the flashlight. He's like holding it. It's just all kinds of that kind of stuff in this movie. Um, just these older like Giallo, Dario Argento films are just so so interesting to watch. Just as far as their their like direction and just the way they're shot and the cinematography and everything. Like I said, also the score by Goblin is so so well incorporated into this films and the scenes. I love how they kick it up to this like kind of very kinetic, like um, in your face, like kind of rock score music every time the killer is getting ready to attack it. It feels completely off, but also it feels like it works too. So I, I like the, the goblin score in this a whole lot, but the only real negative I got is, you know, first off, like I said in the beginning, it doesn't really make sense that a musician would try to investigate a murder. Um, you know, he would, why wouldn't he just go to the cops? He didn't have that much invested in that girl that got murdered anyway, other than he was there when it happened. Um, other the, the killer motivation, I like the reveal of the killer at the end, but the motivation felt a little bit thin to me. Um, like I said, I liked the sequence at the end and finding out who it was, uh, but the, the motivation felt a, a little bit thin. But Beyond that, guys, this is a great, this is a great movie. This is a great Giallo film. If you have never seen a Giallo film before, if you've never seen an Italian horror film before, I would recommend this one first. Like, watch this because this is the pinnacle 
of that genre. I think that this is the best Giallo film, the perfect introduction um, to get you into these type of movies. So watch Deep Red. It's phenomenal. I don't know why I keep holding up the Blu-ray. This is the, the 4K is what I watched. I'll pull out the actual disc. So I already did the unboxing at the table. No need to do that. But um, yeah, I'll give this a 4.5 out of 5. It's damn near perfect to me. I, I love this movie. It's my favorite Argento film. I'm going to watch Tenebrae again, see how that holds up. Maybe it'll be a fight between both of those back and forth. But this is definitely, as of right now, as of today, me shooting this video, this is my favorite Argento film. I love this movie. Um, as for the 4K picture quality, guys, Jesus Christ. Like, Arrow Video has been killing it all year. Um, I'll say this up front. This is the best of the three Argento uh, box sets that they've done so far, the 4K box set. This is the best transfer between Burb of the Crystal Plumage and Cat on Nine Tails. I think one of the reasons is this movie is a little bit more colorful. It's got a little bit more to work with for flashier scenes, more colorful scenes in it. So I do think it lends itself a little bit better to this uh, 4K HDR transfer. But yeah, this is just, this is not just one of the better Argento box set or the best Argento box set. This is like almost, I would almost put this toe to toe with Django. I've been talking about that release by Arrow all year long um, and how that's like one of the best 4K releases of the year. I would put this toe to toe with that. This might be the best 4K transfer I've seen all year. I thought it was phenomenal. You know, I did notice a whole lot of grain that the facial detail just looked so smooth. Like you could just see every wrinkle, every, um, every blemish on everybody's faces. Uh, the colors are just so vibrant in this. The black levels, the contrast levels just turn way up. Uh, that HDR is just like firing on all cylinders in this transfer like that initial scene i knew it was going to look good because i remember the scene in the beginning uh where the psychics are sitting in the that kind of auditorium uh and they got the red curtain behind them and just the contrast of their skin to the red curtain and then they pan out to the audience and the seats are all red and everything all of that just looked exactly how i envisioned it would look um in 4k just just fantastic across the board guys like i said it's uh there's scenes like outside like with grass and leaves there's scenes where he's talking to people like in greenhouses and stuff um and the leaves in the background are just so so well detailed so well colored it's just so vibrant and it just it, it amazes me watching films like this. this movie was made almost 40 uh 46 years ago to the day it's amazing watching films like this and just thinking about how they're that old, because it's honestly, there were parts of this movie that's like, did this just come out? Like, did this just come out like a week ago? This feels like a new movie, uh, just in terms of just how you notice some of these backgrounds. It just, it's phenomenal the work that they're doing with these transfers now. And Arrow Video, I'm gonna say it right now, they're the king. They are the king um, of the 4K transfer. And of course, this was based off of a already, already restored scan, a 4K scan, because this is a 4K scan right here of the original negative. Um, and I saw somewhere when I, when I started this one up, how they couldn't get all of the material, all the scenes that they needed from the 4K negative. Some of those scenes were lost. So they had to use an interpositive, uh, to get some of these, uh, some of these scans and some of these scenes back into the movie with this one. So I imagine that, you know, this one just took um, all the work that was done with this release and just put the 4K, um, put it on a 4K disc. So, still phenomenal work, guys. Arrow Video, they're just, they're just the top. They're the king. They're at the top of their game um, in terms of the 4K transfer. This is definitely one of the best. A must own if you're a Dario Argento fan and if you're just a fan of like the 4K format. So getting into the audio, there is no, there are no Dolby Atmos here, but you do get all of the same audio that was present, you know, in this release. You get the same audio in this release as you do in this one. I'm getting confused with which one I'm holding up. Um, but you do get the, uh, you know, DTS HD MA Mono 1.0 and lossless DTS HD MA 5.1 audio. And you also get the original English soundtrack in DTS HD MA Mono 1.0. So with that, guys, uh, the English soundtrack that you're getting, because I did put on the English soundtrack, when you set it to English to listen to the dubbing, the English dubbing, it still switches back and forth to the Italian talking. So in some sequences and scenes that they're speaking English, it's dubbed, and in some, they're not. They're speaking Italian, and then you get the subtitle. So really, to create a, a non-jarring experience, you're probably just better off watching this in Italian than putting it on the English like I did. Um, 
but it's uh, you know it, it's still well done. The dubbing's nice when you, when it comes in and out. But it even has uh, something down here at the bottom. It says the English audio track has some portions of English audio missing. English audio for these sections was either never recorded or has been lost. As such, these sequences are present uh, presented with Italian audio subtitled in English. So it's interesting that they even offer it if they didn't even have all of the materials together. I would think that they would just be like okay, let's just do Italian if we don't have the English and just say that we don't have the full thing. Because it is it is kind of weird that they would put that in there and you're watching in English, all of a sudden they're in Italian and then switching back and forth and back and forth. Um, it's just, it was an interesting choice by Arrow, but I guess I just wanted to include everything that they had uh, present in the release. But it is a interesting way to watch the movie. So that's, that's how I watch it. But I would recommend just watching a straight Italian with subtitles. That way you kind of avoid uh, the jarring switch back and forth so getting into the uh special features you get a lot of new special features in this release this one you get a new commentary with critics troy hayworth and nathalia thompson you also get two different versions of the film you get the original version which is 127 minutes and you get the uh u.s exported version uh which is i think 105 minutes so it's a shorter version i think they cut out some of the more um i guess more unsuitable for American scenes. I don't know. Dario Argento talked about it in one of the special features, um, how they cut a bunch of stuff out to make it more suitable for Americans. But it's kind of interesting. You do get both. They're both on 4K discs. This is a two disc set. One of them is the export version and one of them is the original version. So you don't get a Blu-ray with this set, just the two 4Ks. And then you get three hours of extra additional interviews from Dario Argento, the cast and crew. Um, there's just a bunch of new features in this. It does say they were all shot in 2018, um, but they're not present on this Blu-ray release. This has older archival interviews in it from Dario Argento, um, but the ones that they shot in 2018 showed up on here, um, and they're not present on this disc. So you do get three hours of additional interviews and special features. You get the additional version of the film. You get an additional audio commentary. So guys, at the end of the day, I think this is going for like $45 right now. It's a great movie. It's the best Art Jari Argento movie. It's a great transfer. You get all kinds of special features. You get these cool cards and posters and, and booklets. I think that this is absolutely worth your money. Uh, if you're on the fence about getting it, I highly, highly recommend this. This is a top, top recommendation for me. Probably, honestly, a top five release of the year. Um, for my money. So with that, guys, we are done with the review of Deep Bread. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you can, comment down below your thoughts on Deep Bread. Did you pick up this release? Are you planning on picking up this release? Based on my recommendation, I will be leaving the link for purchase in the description below. Also, be sure to like this video, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I love it. <laughs>